Okay. I am Thelma Fagutan Kumane from Swaziland. I'm working as the nursing sister at Lobamba Clinic. I came to know of the summit from uh, the AIDS free mentor who is working with us at Lobamba Clinic. Then she came, told us that there was a PATA summit. I didn't know about it. Then he said the applications are up. Let us apply for our support group that we were um, addressing issues of viral load suppression. That is how I came to know about PATA. This is actually a very important event. I wish everyone from my clinic was here because this is where we, got, we, we get to share best practices. And uh, what uh, I like most about it is that we are not only confined to just uh, best practices within our country, but we get to hear about best practices from different countries in Africa, um, as well as we get to know the challenges that they've gone through when uh, trying to provide their services and how they were able to overcome those challenges. So yeah, it is a very important um, meeting. Okay, the services should be um, adolescent and child friendly because most of the time, particularly with the, um, with the children, they, um, they, they, they don't get to go to the facilities by themselves. But uh, you, you see the adults, when they feel sick, when they feel like they want to go to the hospital, they just take their bags and go to the, to the hospitals without any bombs. But as for children and uh, adolescents, they, most of the time they're taken there by adults. And when they get there, they should get uh, to an environment that is very much friendly so that they can be able to want to come back to access our services. But if the, the, the services are not child and adolescent friendly, we might lose uh, some uh, children and adolescents. They, they might not want to come to our facilities because of the attitude that we are giving them. So it is very vital to have adolescent friendly services in order to uh, bring back children and uh, adolescents back to our facilities.